Please welcome, he's the president of the Psychic Research Foundation of Great Britain. Put your hands together for Mr John Starkey. Come on, let's see. He's up in none of us. John, <laughs> now, you're a psychic for two-legged... Well, <laughs> you do us as well. I do, I yes. I can do with a good session <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Have you uh, ever known who would be on the other end of the phone before it rang or sensed when someone close has been in danger? If so, people like John Starkey here would say that uh, you were perhaps a little psychic. What is being psychic? Well... That's a very good question. I think we all are psychic. We all have the ability to be able to use our intuition without using our eyes. The minute we close our eyes and we feel we're psychic, we're working then on a different level of consciousness altogether. So we've got something to show you. Okay. Okay, close mm -hmm. your eyes. For that. Okay, okay, he's away. <laughs> Hello, Helen. Hello. So this is, uh, this is uh, a bit tricky because there's a bit of bullying going on here. There is, yeah. Um, I've had Cheap and Chill for, for about two years and I got them actually from another television programme, they were on House of Horrors and they had a secret camera in the cage. And it's Cheap, the green one, who's the she's, aggressor. She's the, she's the, the, bully, the woman, yeah. The right, woman's let the me aggressive just tap one. John. That's it. OK, we know the case history, you don't. OK. Tell Do you mind if I have a little look? No, please, All go right. and have a look and tune Fine. in. Oh, cheap and cheerful. Now, these are boxing budges. These are budges that I think probably are in conflict with each other. They're so bright and so cheerful that they have a kind of empathy between them, but they can't stand each other's company. And I think what they're doing is they're, they're sort of winding each other up because they haven't decided what the pecking order is. The show's been on a year. Do you remember when he came mm. on last time? I do, yes. How's Buster doing since then? Well, Buster's become the real prima donna now, I'm afraid. I'm not surprised. Mm. Yes. yes. <laughs> What's he been saying? Well, he's been revealing about you, actually, oh, Paul. I, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was quite surprised because I put my hand on his back like that and saw a big candelabra behind you, then another. Then I, I didn't realise it was you, and I think you're going to have another show alongside this one, a wee bit more serious, and my goodness, it's a cracker. With the candelabra? With the candelabra, yes. <laughs> Must be the life story, Liberace. <laughs> 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 Liberace. Never thought of that. Hello, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bill Fagan, That's right. uh, a professor who's here to tell us about auras, That's right. and John Starkey, who can tune in psy uh, psychically to both pets and humans. Mm -hmm. We discovered, when we looked at psychics, something strange. We discovered around the head a much more pronounced glow from uh, the heads. Yeah. And I have looked at both of you this morning, and we detect this as well. I've got to confess, I am slightly scared of psychic ability. If I had it myself, I'd be scared. The things that you say sometimes are extraordinary. They do match things which we know about animals. Mm. I think she ended up in a, a quite a nice little home with an old lady in a maisonette. So, um, it seems <laughs> this to me is so that, detailed. Uh, things were going That's incredible. Well. See, look at her. She's, she's been more friendly to you than anyone else today. As I was stroking her, I could get the influence of another person who's extremely musical. And I could sense all this music coming towards me, creative, original music. Well, my husband fancies himself as musical. Oh, does he? Really oh, right. He's... Oh, right. When yeah. you come back from Italy, sure, he'll be a lot better. Italy? Yes. Are I'm you going from... to Italy? I've just been to Italy, but I'm Have considering you? going again. Yes, you'll go for a short period. Did you know you, you didn't yeah. know you were going I fell in love that. with Venice. Oh, no, I had no like idea. Italy's wonderful. You didn't even know I've been to Italy. No. Really, no. I'm going to Italy. Short period. Ah, I'm going to hey! Italy for my holidays. Oh, fabulous. All right. Oh, I'm cheating me up now, Ant. You want to come to Italy with me? I'd love to. Oh, we go. Orient Express to Venice. Oh, Gritty I'm Palace, there. two nights. We'll have a ball. I'm there. You need a big suitcase to take me anyway. Oh, how fabulous. Oh, great. All right, then. Everybody, please thank John Starkey. Cheers, John. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love it, Oh, so do I.